Ever wondered if the duck suit variant in Call of Duty World War II was real? Well, spoiler alert, it is, and the gun it's based off of in real life has a ton of history behind it, in which this video we will be taking a look at. My name is Nick, and welcome to another Call of Duty World War II video. But let's take a quick dive into the history of the duck soup and take a quick look at what it looks like in real life. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. <laughs> So the Duck Soup in Call of Duty World War II is a variant for the highly loved PPSH-41. And before I talk about the real life Duck Soup, I want to give a little history behind the real life PPSH-41 and compare it to the COD World War II PPSH to see if it's historically accurate. So the PPSH in real life was made by Georgie Shapgin, I don't know if I'm saying that correctly, but it saw service for the USSR from 1941 to the 1960s, but is still used today by many other countries. The real life PPSH weighed about 8 pounds and shot a 7.62 by 25 millimeter Takarev. Its rate of fire was 900 to over a thousand rounds per minute with being able to hold a 35 round box magazine or 71 round drum magazine. Now let's compare the real life PPSH to the COD World War II PPSH. So the COD World War II PPSH has a fire rate of 722 to 769 rounds per minute with being able to hold a 35 round box magazine and a 50 two round drum magazine. So the COD World War II PPSH is a little bit accurate to the real life PPSH, but only with the 35 round box magazine. Now let's talk about what we've all been waiting for and that's the duck suit variant. So I'm 100% positive the duck suit variant is based off of the PPS-43. The PPS-43 was made by Alexev Sadiev, I don't know if I'm saying that correctly, but as a low cost personnel defense weapon for reconnaissance units, vehicle crews, and support personnel. The PPS-43 was made due to the Red Army needing a compact and lightweight weapon with similarities in power to the PPSH-41 but costing less to manufacture and having a slower fire rate. The PPS was soon accepted into the Red Army service but because of the mass production of PPS-41s during World War II, abandoning the production of that gun in favor for the more or less costly PPS-43 would hurt the economy. By the end of World War II, 2 million PPS-43s were manufactured but had seized development due to an oversupply of them. The PPS remained in service with some Soviet forces until the mid 1950s into which the Chinese People's Liberation Army soon got their hands on in which the UN forces stole back during the Korean War. Today, not much is known about the PPS-43 and where some are being held, but they are extremely rare relics of gun history that gun collectors will love to have. Now let's take a look into some statistics to see if the PPS-43 is similar to the COD World War II duck suit. The PPS-43 weighed about 6.5 to 6.7 pounds and shot a 7.62 by 25 millimeter Takarev. The fire rate for the PPS-43 was 600 to 700 rounds per minute, with a 35 round box magazine being its standard mag. So the Duck Soup in Cod World War II has a fire rate of 722 to 769 rounds per minute, with being able to hold a 35 round box magazine and 52 round drum magazine. Really, the Duck Soup variant is fairly accurate to its real life predecessor, the PPS-43, making this variant more historically accurate than the PPS-41 is to its real life version, which is pretty funny. But that is the history behind the real life duck soup and what it's based off of. I hope you guys really loved this video, and if you guys did, drop a like because it helps me out a ton. If you're new, channel, subscribe for more music content because I upload Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday. And remember, hit that bell subscribe button so you don't miss an upload. Also, what up a card to the series place right about now? This series place is called the History of the Variant series, where I basically take a dive into the history of the variants in Call of Duty World War II and find out what its real life predecessor is and how was it in real life and a little bit of background for its standard version as well. But guys, that's basically pretty much it and I hope you guys have an amazing day. And also comment down below what you found interesting about the Duck Soup's real life predecessor. Do you, do you really like how it's the PPS-43? Do you not like how they basically threw in a lazy mechanic and made a variant a different gun for the PPS-41 when they could, or, or PPS-H-41, when they could have easily added the PPS-43 as a separate gun, but they chose to make it a variant. You know, I'm low-key throwing shade. That's, that's what I wish they did, because I really wanted the PPS-43 in a COD game. And finding out that it was a variant seems really lazy on Sledgehammer's side, but you know, it's whatever. But if you found anything interesting, just comment down below. But I'll see you guys in my next video, and peace, guys.